Imagine just for a moment you find yourself standing at the edge of the Large Hadron Collider, suddenly you're sucked inside, what happens next? An unthinkable scenario indeed, the Large Hadron Collider or LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It's nestled deep within the border of France and Switzerland, a behemoth of human curiosity and scientific achievement. It's a massive ring, stretching out to an impressive 27 kilometers in circumference. To put that into perspective, you could easily fit the entire city of Vatican within its confines. The LHC's primary role is to help us understand the universe. It does this by firing particles at incredibly high speeds, close to the speed of light, and then smashing them together. This produces an abundance of energy, and creates conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. It's like having a miniature universe right here on Earth. But let's return to our hypothetical situation. You, standing at the edge of this scientific marvel, suddenly find yourself being sucked inside. It's the stuff of science fiction and nightmares, a scenario filled with unknowns. To say that the risks are substantial would be a colossal understatement. The particles within the collider are moving at nearly the speed of light. That's over 1 billion kilometers per hour. It's hard to comprehend such a speed but let's just say it's faster than anything you've ever experienced. The sheer force of the particles could obliterate anything in their path. Yet, the unknowns are even more terrifying. The LHC delves into the realm of quantum mechanics, a world that is by nature unpredictable and strange. Could the collision of particles create a miniature black hole? Could it warp the fabric of space-time? The truth is we don't really know. To understand what might happen, we first need to understand what a Hadron Collider actually does. And that, my friends, is where we'll pick up in the next scene. So stick around because things are about to get even more interesting. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, is a marvel of modern science. What exactly is a Hadron Collider though? Well, it's a machine designed to propel charged particles along a set path at near light speeds. But these aren't just any particles, the collider works with hadrons, particles made up of quarks held together by the strong force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. Protons and neutrons, the building blocks of an atom's nucleus, are examples of hadrons. So, how does it all work? The process begins with a simple hydrogen atom. The electrons are stripped away, leaving only the proton, a hadron. This proton is then thrust into the particle accelerator, where it's sped up to incredible velocities. We're talking about speeds so fast that they're almost the speed of light. Imagine traveling around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. That's the kind of speed we're dealing with. Once these protons are zipping around at these mind-boggling speeds, they're directed to collide with each other. This is where the real magic happens. When two protons collide at these speeds, they shatter, releasing an enormous amount of energy and creating new particles. This process allows scientists to study the fundamental structure of the universe, helping us understand the very fabric of reality. Now it's important to note the sheer power involved in these collisions. The energy released when protons collide in the Large Hadron Collider is measured in tera-electron volts, a unit of energy that's a trillion times larger than an electron volt. To put it into perspective, this is about the same energy as a flying mosquito, but remember this energy is concentrated in a space about a million times smaller than a mosquito. It's like packing all the energy of a thunderstorm into a tiny grain of sand. So with this understanding, let's dive into our hypothetical scenario. Now let's get back to you standing at the edge of the Hadron Collider, suddenly pulled into this whirlpool of science. If we were to imagine this unlikely scenario, the first thing to consider would be the intense magnetic field. The Hadron Collider operates with a magnetic field about a hundred thousand times stronger than the Earth's. This means that as soon as you're inside, the iron in your blood would react to this field, causing an immediate disruption to your circulatory system. In layman's terms, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. Next, let's talk about the vacuum. The Hadron Collider operates in a near-perfect vacuum, a space devoid of any air or matter. The human body isn't built for such conditions. If you were to suddenly find yourself in this vacuum, the air in your lungs would immediately rush out, your body would begin to swell, and without immediate medical intervention, this could be fatal. Now, on to the radiation. The Hadron Collider is a hotbed of radiation. The high-energy particles whizzing around the collider's 17-mile-long tunnel produce a form of radiation that's harmful to living tissues. This radiation could damage your DNA, leading to a host of health problems, and let's not forget the temperature. The collider operates at a temperature colder than outer space. To put it mildly, it's not a place you'd want to hang out without a seriously good winter coat. 
So if you're ever tempted to take a closer look at the Hadron Collider, remember this. The human body is a marvel of evolution, designed to survive in a wide range of environments. But the inside of a Hadron Collider? That's a different story. It's a place of extreme conditions that the human body simply isn't built to withstand. But that's just the immediate impact. What about the long-term effects? Let's say, hypothetically, you survive the initial entry into the Hadron Collider. What happens next? Well, the aftermath would be quite a spectacle to say the least. The immediate effects would be drastic, but the long-term effects could be even more harrowing. You see, the Hadron Collider is a hotbed of radiation. It's not the kind of radiation you'd get from, let's say, a microwave or a TV. This is high-energy particle radiation, the kind that can cause severe damage to human tissues. The first thing you'd likely experience is radiation sickness. This is a serious illness that can cause nausea, weakness, hair loss, and skin burns. And that's just the start. The high levels of radiation could also lead to more serious health problems down the line, including various types of cancer. But the radiation isn't the only thing you'd need to worry about. The sheer energy and speed of the particles inside the collider could also cause significant physical harm. Imagine being pelted with tiny, near-light-speed particles. Each one might be minuscule, but their cumulative effect could be devastating. Now let's talk about DNA. Your DNA is the blueprint of your body, and it's incredibly sensitive to changes. Exposure to the intense radiation and high-energy particles inside the Hadron Collider could potentially cause irreparable damage to your DNA. This could lead to mutations, some of which could be harmful, or even fatal. But here's where things get really interesting. Because the truth is, we don't really know what would happen. This scenario is so far beyond our current understanding of physics and biology that it's difficult to predict the exact consequences. Would you be vaporized instantly? Would you mutate into a superhuman? Would you open a portal to another dimension? We simply don't know. So, in conclusion, getting sucked into a Hadron Collider would be a one-way ticket to an unknown fate. We can speculate, we can hypothesize, but at the end of the day, it's an adventure you probably wouldn't want to embark on. While this scenario is purely hypothetical and highly unlikely, it helps us appreciate the power and potential of the Hadron Collider. We've embarked on a fascinating journey today, exploring a thought experiment that has taken us deep into the realm of quantum physics and advanced technology. We've seen the unthinkable, the idea of a human being sucked into a Hadron Collider, it's a scenario straight out of a science fiction novel. But remember, this is a realm where fiction often dances dangerously close to fact, where the impossible becomes merely improbable. We delved into the science of Hadron Colliders, machines so powerful they can literally rip atoms apart to reveal the fundamental building blocks of the universe. These awe-inspiring machines give us an unprecedented look at the very fabric of reality, allowing us to peer back in time to moments just after the Big Bang. We've considered the surreal, almost unimaginable experience of being sucked into this science. The sheer forces at play, the unimaginable energies involved. It's a scenario that serves as a stark reminder of the power we wield when we delve into the heart of matter itself. We've contemplated the aftermath, the scientific and philosophical implications of such an event. It's a scenario that forces us to confront our own mortality and the transient nature of our existence in this vast, complex universe. And now as we reflect on this journey let it serve as a cautionary tale. The Hadron Collider is a tool, a powerful one that allows us to pry open the doors of the universe and peek inside. But like all tools it must be handled with care, respect and understanding. The potential it holds is immense but so too are the dangers if it is mishandled. So let's remember the power and potential of the Hadron Collider and the respect it commands. Let's appreciate the wonders it allows us to explore but also the caution it demands. So next time you're near a Hadron Collider, remember to keep a safe distance for science's sake.